Hello team, it's Rich, it's Neil, it's Serious Cricket, and it's a bunch of helmets. We're going to help you find the right one and also size it up. All helmets must be manufactured as per the new British standard, BSI, BS, 7928.2013. Okay, so the BS, the British standard, came about because it was at a similar time to the Phil Hughes passing and the incident where he, he got hit with a cricket ball, plus they're starting to notice that a lot of the junior and senior cricketers are, the balls were going between the, the grill and the, the peak of the, the helmet. So they wanted to sort of standardise what was going on, the qualities in the, the, the helmet themselves, make sure they're up to spec. Cool. So we've got a few, we've got a bit of a range here for everybody. Um, I think this is the Gun and Moore range, and we've got all the way up to the Missouri and the Titanium. Um, so we've got quite a few things to talk to you about, so I guess we should probably get started with a bit more of the nuts and bolts. Well, I think first first point to make on those British standards that you mentioned, yeah. um, all helmets now that you purchase from any reputable retailer will all qualify and all be deemed to be within those regulations. Now, um, so one helmet doesn't necessarily mean it is passing and one isn't. They're, they're all passed and they're all suitable for cricket, um, as you've explained. Cool. So irrespective of whether you pay all the money in the world for something yep. or whether you pay you have a cheaper version they're yeah. still going to pass though they have passed those british standards yeah so then it comes down to personal choice of what you're really looking for yeah we'll, we'll delve into why some helmets are more expensive than others yeah um first thing to probably notice down the end here rich you've got what we call probably a painted finished helmet yeah so um almost like a, a plastic hard coated shell, hard it? shell yeah uh compared to what we would call a cloth covered helmet yeah um Personal preference, really. No choice in there. What one you will the, notice, though, what are one of the beauties, though, well, with the cloth. To, come oh, that, come on! Yeah. But what you will notice is extra ventilation in there. Oh yes. Yeah. So you, you don't you don't necessarily get that with the cloth helmet. You'll get you get a bit less than four that, or five uh, breathable air holes. Whereas in a some in some of the painted finish helmets, you, they give you get a little bit more ventilation. Cool. Now I got all excited then because you can get all funky and you can get your club colours or of course you could become brilliant and play for the Sydney Thunder. As we have here, you've got the big bash. Um, you know, you can get those helmets done as well because they're cloth and you can get them embroidered. So that's pretty cool too. So before we get work our way up to this end. Oh yeah, we should, we should uh, meander along, uh, shouldn't uh, we? Other things to keep considering when you're, when you're looking for a helmet. Um, obviously the gap, the gap between the grill and the, and the lid is going to be probably pretty similar to most helmets. As you mentioned early, um, you used to be able to undo these nuts and, and move a grill around and change the shape on it, but you can't do that now. Uh, the nuts just literally attach the grill to the helmet. Yep. You won't be able to change the visibility through that point there. So it'll just be what it will be. Give you a quick look on a, another another helmet there on the, the grey nickels and also the Missouri there too. So as you go up the chain in terms of from uh, a sort of an entry level helmet price point up to a top end price point, the yeah. differences tend to be the weight of the yes. helmet. Um, as you go up, the more money you spend, the lighter the helmet becomes. If you're playing a lot of cricket, you, if you're batting for a long period of time, if you're a wicket keeper, you've got to wear it a lot of the time when you're fielding, if you're standing up to spinners, yeah. then the lighter the helmet is obviously going to be of benefit. Um, so we, yeah, one, one interesting little fact for you team, and, and I didn't know this until we did a bit of research, is the shell on each of these is actually slightly different. So they all conform to the standards, but they are actually slightly different. So they weigh a bit more, weigh a bit less, which again is something you would consider as a vitally important when you're going to put it on for two and a half hours and you're batting. I think the other thing to, uh, to factor in with weight is um, the more expensive helmets often come with a titanium grill. Now, what a titanium grill does is uh, it's stronger than your standard metal grill, but it's also a lot lighter. So if you're playing a high level of cricket and you're playing for a long time, then that's when you just start to consider titanium grills because they make the overall helmet a lot lighter and, yeah. and a lot more safer in terms of uh, bolt when, you know, strength in, term, in the grill. Yeah. Um, from a comfort point of view, you're touching on shapes of helmets. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
because I think I think this helmet is a different shape to this one. And again, that that looks slightly different to this one as well. So a little bit narrower. Yeah, so we're going to come on to sizing in a minute. But what you'll find then with a lot of the manufacturers within the grill themselves, you turn it up and yeah. over, likely it's going to come with a bit of extra padding or a bit of extra foam. Um, a helmet like this also comes with an adjuster at the back. So that's just going to squeeze in just to then fit your head in that helmet, helmet spot. Yeah. Um, so Pretty much all, all of them come with a All of them will have a chin, chin strap. Chin strap. Um, as you can see on this one, it's got a very similar adjuster at the back. And certainly in the entry level helmets, that, that's often what they do, just to make sure that you, um, more junior players can get a really good fit to the helmet. Uh, and then as we go up through the helmet ranges, it will be extra padding uh, to get that comfort, comfort level that you're after. Um, so eye line's gonna be, maybe it, it might slight, sit slightly different, depending on, on which head, helmet. Yeah. Um, but it will all conform to not being able to get a ball through it. Another little thought on grills. We've talked about titanium, we've talked about the steel grill, but here you've also, on, on the grey nickels variety here, you're going to go all the way around the back and on the neck as well. So even the grill is actually looking slightly different on some of these helmets too. Mm. And that's a, it's a viewing consideration, which again, when you're putting it on your head, that is something you need to think about as a, as a batter. Right, we need to address the issue of sizing. Go on then. Because that is the um, most challenging part about ordering a helmet online. Yeah. Um, so first and foremost, from a sizing point of view, if you are able to get into a shop, I would definitely recommend it because they all are slightly different in terms of shapes, in terms of the construction. Um, and just putting it on your head and feeling it is really what you're after. Now, if you do get a helmet and you, and you are able to try it on, um, what you're looking for is when you put it on your head, ultimately, what you want, when you move your head left and right, up and down, the whole helmet and the grill needs to move with you. If it's wobbling around as you're going up and down, then it's probably too big. And that's the biggest common mistake we find yeah. with juniors trying to buy a helmet. So get it on your head. You can then see the eye line through the grill, so I'm comfortable with that. I'm moving left and right, I'm going up and down, the whole thing's moving with me, I don't notice it's there. Now that's, that, that's like, uh, that's the holy grail of being able to size a helmet because you've, you've actually got it and you put it on your head. If you're not able to get into a store and you're going to buy them online, then check out the manufacturer's size guides, but all of them will have um, a suggested measurement to fit. Yeah. Now what you're looking to do is get the circumference of your head, so get a, get a tape measure, um, Ideally, a, a fabric tape measure, measure. Not, yeah. not the metal ones, because that's hard work. So a fabric, to me, and, and get that around your head, get the circumference. Um, if you're a junior, you probably want to allow a little bit of growing room. You do. But it comes, a lot of them come with the extra. Bit of padding to help you. Yeah, padding and also, and a twisty thing. don't forget your adjuster as well. Yeah. Um, and that's how you're going to go about sizing your helmet, really. Circumference of your head, then have a look at the size guides online, and then Go from, there. go from there. Cool. Well, there's a lot of information in that video, team. Yeah, we, we also hope that you never have to use it. <laughs> this is one of those pieces of equipment yeah. where we, we, we hope you get a full lifespan out of it. Um, and typically, a helmet, all jokes aside, should probably last you, for, as a junior, three years, yeah. three seasons probably. And then once you get into an adult helmet, that's then going to be you done. And that should probably last you most of your career. Yep. Um, and like I say, don't go using it, use your back. Yeah, I think I've had two, two helmets in my career so far. We can say two, two incidents we've been here. <laughs> well, that's just because I'm a bad batter. Better go and get some coaching. Um, but no, I've, I've only had two adult helmets mm. so in my career. So that gives you a bit of an idea. I've been playing a little while too. Okay, so team, hope you like that. Hope you got some good information from that. Again, we're always gonna say, please come into the store because that's so helpful. Um, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, write some comments below. You know the business, you know the draw. Don't forget to let up safely. Mm -hmm.